there, people, and welcome to yet another episode of the QC Aspiration Project, or whatever you may call this thing, um, where we basically go through all the different creative things that people have done with the Quake Engine. Um, lots of different creative things out there involving a lot of spirits of people that do rather different various things. This time around, we're checking out a different modified version of homing missiles. You know, totally creative! The most unique thing ever! We haven't seen this a million times already. Um, but this is a slightly different one, so it's not the same! <laughs> anyway, this is by Chris Hilton on August 4th, 1996. It's a modified version of Home and Missile's code to make it a bit more interesting. Um, rockets only acquire targets that are in front of it. Uh, with the in front defined a little more tightly than it is for the monster AI. Um, Nancy thought he'd make the missile curve rather than abruptly change directions. So he made the new miss direction velocity add on to the old velocity. Looks nice, I think. Then I figured that as long as it was only acquiring targets in front, it might as well be allowed to target the owner, since it should ha ra rarely happen, but be an interesting aspect. Also, I had to modify touch so it blows up on owner. Finally, I made the rocket constantly acquire new targets in flight, which helps make it a bit more erratic, but interesting behavior. Um... It was targeting doors originally, so he's prevented that bug. And also, he's up the speed to 500. Um, because catching your own missile just seemed wrong. See, I need to say lots of different little creative things done here and there to make the alternative um, missile we saw kind of last time, even, um, basically fit stuff and be a bit better than it was there. So, yeah, not really the biggest of changes, but at the same time, rather useful to have. I'm assuming it's just going to be like... There we are. Rocket launcher. So you see it fires fast. Has homing missiles. It's homing missiles. So you see a bit more erratic at least. Let's see how it exactly works against like say here. I see, it's like curving so much that it's not hitting it really. Well, it hit you there. And you see, if you like stand here, you can't as easily like just shoot it here. And since curve means that it might be too steep now. See, so yeah, it's not as good at just hiding around the corner and waiting for everything to die as it was before. So it's slightly better, I guess. Still very, very overpowered. Like, why, why exactly do we need a home and missile? The world may never know. Oh dear God, boy! As you see, very, very unlikely the player will ever catch up to it. As you see, it also changes targets so it can really be random of where exactly it's going. Seems to say slightly more unpredictable behavior than it was before. I have no idea how the player would catch it, but if you could, you could get blown up by it apparently. That's the thing. Just to say, not the most exciting of things, but home and missile. Yeah, um, home and missiles, everyone. Even though we've kind of seen it before, it, it's really not the biggest changes in the world to see another home and missile thing, since, like I said, we kind of already saw one. Um, this is slightly different than that one was, and like I said, it does offer some different little variations to the formula. So, yeah, home and missiles. There we are, another one done. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure, and I guess I'll see you all hopefully in something a bit more exciting than this.